Yeah. So I have a, maybe a bit of an unorthodox view on this, but I think one of the best things you can actually do is go try a bunch of things outside of finance and like go talk to a lot of people, do a lot of like different things that'll just like teach you like how the world works. I think there's a quote I like that's like, a desk is a very dangerous place from which to view the world. And I see a lot of analysts and a lot of associates that are like, yeah, well, I am just so good at LBO modeling and reading this, these sims. And like, you know, I know like what the right investment theses are to sell to my IC. And like, that may be true, but like, in my view, like there's a lot of fooled by randomness there. There's a lot of like things have worked that way because they always work that way. And then when they don't work, you're kind of caught off balance. Um, and I think the things that are, that really helped me. So, so one thing I did is, Maybe we spoke about this earlier, but I started doing like some of the real estate investing uh, with one of my buddies um, right when I was finishing up Goldman. And so we had bought, and, and I think the point is like we had boots on the ground, like we actually had to operate the business and like having to go to a different state, a different city that I had never been in before and just like put your boots on the ground, like don't sit behind a desk and go try to like build and run that business. You will learn so much, like way more than like reading a bunch of sims. And it was everything from like, well, we need to buy all historical Airbnb data and then we need to sift through it. That's probably what like most analysts could crush. Like you're probably gonna have everyone who, you know, if you're listening to this, you can probably do a really good sort function in Excel to tell you like what zip codes to invest in. But then you actually have to go there. You have to like find the right home. You have to like tour the properties. You have to meet the agents and like convince them to like give you their time because you're some 22 year old guy who thinks he can make a buck in their community. Um, buy the property, actually fix up the property, right? Like we did everything from painting doors. We went on Facebook because the Savannah College of Art and Design was really close by. And like those kids are probably better interior design than I'll ever be. And like hire somebody, right? And then you have to go find someone to take care of the property. And like literally doing all of this taught me way more than like reading 10Ks. Um, and like, as an example, the first night we decided to stay in our property and turns out the person who used to stay in that property was a big smoker and all the smoke came out of the HVAC system. And on day one, we had to spend another 10 grand in like replacing part of the HVAC. So it very quickly became like, wow, like how unlucky was that? Like, wow, we you know messed that up. And it quickly helps you see how lucky you've been for so many times you're reading a 10K or going through a sim and things work out there's a lot of unknown unknowns that have, you know, I've just taken for granted. Um, and, and like messing things up and messing them up in the real world, like you'll learn a lot from doing that. And having the ability to empathize with different types of people and see the shared experience that they are going through, you know, even if you don't have to like live it for a long term, just seeing that will actually broaden your mindset. And so when you're actually thinking of investing in a business, you'll really be able to put yourself in the seat of like, you know, a, a consumer, but also be like, what can really go wrong here? Because if you're sitting behind a desk, you're never really going to know what's going to go wrong. Um, you got to make a lot of mistakes.